everybody, Nullface here, uh, talking about the newest round of Endless Battle here in Eternal Evolution. Uh, this one has three stages just like the previous. We've got Forbidden Mist, which is a uh, hunter-focused stage. Uh, you've got the Reign of Idar, uh, Assassins, and then the one that's locked today, because it's day three and I'm very behind getting this out, uh, is the Spider King's Lair, which is the energy boss. Uh, also, you know, the same thing as the Twilight 1610 boss from before, uh, from last season. So, uh, some teams together for these. Uh, I'll try to put together a few alternates for each team. The sort of top damage teams that we've been seeing so far require a pretty uh, highly developed roster with very specific heroes, trying to get them into specific builds to make them work for the content, which is great if you can do that, not so much if you can't. So try to come up with a few alternate uh Team comps or ideas, other ones you can try uh, for each of the stages too. Now, granted, the, the points will be much lower if you don't have the 20 point bonus hero or 20% bonus hero. There's really not much to do about that, right? We've got Rebecca for Forbidden Mist, uh, Jaina for Spider, Spider King's Lair, and then still Dominic for Idar. Uh, without those, your points are going to be drastically lower just because of the bonus. Uh, in fact, I don't have a recording of the run, but when you look at the results from the Spider King's Lair, I actually got more points by bringing in Felvia instead of Ravenna, because Ravenna's not on the list. Even though she did less damage, uh, her her bonus points because of Jaina and Nord made up the difference and I actually got you know a, a few hundred thousand more. Not crazy, but a little bit. It all helps. So uh, we'll go ahead and run through the two recordings that I do have, as well as the results of Spider King, because for some reason I recorded that, just not the run. Don't, don't even ask. Um, and again, try to view some of the uh, alternates as well.
thinking about no recording uh, on Spider King's Lair. I, I really wish I did have one of those. Uh, as other CCs have mentioned too, it's important to try and line up the the spiders from the front row. Uh, try and draw them backwards a little bit. You can either use you know res rolling, which is to me the most frustrating way to go. Uh, you can just kind of use Nord and position him correctly, and they'll usually come towards him. Uh, that doesn't usually get all four. It, Max I've been able to get doing that is three, but it's still good enough for now. So just a few repetitions on that. Like always, there's a lot of RNG in these fights. It's usually not until the fourth, fifth, tenth one sometimes, uh, where I actually get the, the good run where everything kind of lines up properly. Fortunately, these are, to me, at least a little bit more fun. Uh, I the, the Spider King one, when you can just, you know, toss out damage is, is entertaining, so... Uh, been, been a little, a little better on this one than the previous. Uh, also, the updates to the raffle shop have been great. So at least the, the max number is capped now. You know you're going to hit it. Uh, you know, a little bit more of the R Rise of Heroes ROH feel to it. So that's that's better. Uh, it it definitely seems an improvement. I'm glad they took the feedback from last time. So with that, um, I don't think there's much else for this video. Uh, I'm going to do some damage testing on Rebecca and Rosaris and hopefully release that soon. Uh, I'm kind of curious since I ended up getting her for the event anyway. I want to see where she can do or what uh, what gear sets are best for her. Uh, a few things I want to try out there. So hopefully have something on that soon. Uh, just kind of show what she can do because her damage potential is really high. Very impressive. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. But for now, I uh, hope this helped a little bit. Thanks for watching and take care.